I'm Rebecca of Pocketful of Posies. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I made a front closing Regency dress, and I used a pattern by Black Snail Patterns. I did a few mod, or at least one modification to it, um, in that I gave it short sleeves instead of long sleeves, mostly because I did not have enough fabric for the long sleeves. So I had to make that adjustment. The first thing I did was trace out my pattern um, just with some tracing paper and Hercules is always helpful, most definitely. Then I cut the bodice pieces out. Um, I did not print out um, the skirt pattern pieces because I didn't have enough fabric for them anyway so I just kind of improvised and just cut as much skirt as I could with the fabric that I had. The next step was to pin the back pieces together from the fashion fabric as well as the lining fabric. And for the fashion fabric, I used a dotted voile cotton, 100% cotton, and the lining is a just a light blue broadcloth. I actually think it is a blend, it's not 100% cotton. Now I am sewing the back pieces together um, and I did that of course for the for the fashion fabric as well as the lining. And then I went ahead and pinned the front pieces to the back pieces for the bodice. Then I sewed the side seams and then I sewed the skirt seams um i just cut i had enough length to cut two pieces for the skirt um and but since it's front closing i went ahead and cut the front piece in half so it does have a seam all the way down the front um, like it's supposed to Then I ironed open the seams of my bodice pieces, um, the lining as well as the fashion fabric. And then I pinned the lining um, according to the pattern um, basically like the sewing the sewing line the seam line um, I folded that up and pinned it down and then ran um, just a 
long basting stitch just to hold it in place. And then of course later once it's all together I will remove the basting stitches. The thread I was using was knotting up incredibly all the time. It was making me crazy. And it was cotton thread and I've since read that cotton thread does do that often. So I switched to a polyester thread and it helped a little bit. Next I gathered the skirt um, and pinned it to the bodice, um, the back panels, and as always, you know, you know, it takes a while to do the gathering, but not this fabric was so is so light that it was very easy to gather. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't too much of a chore. And after I did the back of the skirt and pinned it to the back of the bodice, then I did the front. Um, and I actually arranged the gathers so that um, there, was, there were less gathers in the very front of the bodice, um, only because um, I didn't want it to be look too poofy in the very front. I am making this um, as a gift for someone and I know that she will not want a poofy silhouette in the front. I put it on the dress form um, just to make sure everything was lining up and of course the um, the neckline and the waistline will be pulled together uh, gathered basically with um, with a drawstring so they will come together better My next step was pinning the lining to the bodice along the waistline and then of course pinning it pretty much around the entire uh, the entire neckline and or not the entire neckline just the front the front neckline um, and then I will whip stitch the lining down to the neckline of the bodice, making sure that it is uh, lower than the, the outer fabric so that it doesn't show. Of course the pattern uh, direction said to stop, um, stop that um, stitching a few inches below the shoulder seam. So I did that.
Next, I used a back stitch and made a channel for the drawstring around the neckline as well as the waist. Now, unfortunately, because you know we can't go out and about and buy thread and such right now, I didn't I didn't have the right color uh, for this dress of thread. I didn't have an exact match, so I used a darker thread, and it does not look terrible. It's just you could see the thread more than. I would like but I think all in all it ended up fine it's not that big of a deal Then I used a bodkin and some embroidery floss uh, to that I put through the uh, the drawstring channel to use as a drawstring. and then I tacked it down um, inside uh, to the lining and then closed that little opening that up that I had left. Next I used a back stitch to, um, to sew the lining shoulder seams together, uh, right sides together so that when I put the lining and the bodice material together, the seams will be on the inside. They will be, they won't show, they'll be uh, between the layers. I then pinned the um, bodice material at the shoulder seams and then I sewed that down on the top on the outside with a back stitch. My next step was to turn the seam allowance under or to the inside um, between the layers of fabric of the lining and whip stitch that down along the neckline on the back of the dress. All right, progress, definitely. Um, all that's left now is to do the sleeves, everything, and the hem. Everything else is put together. So onward to the sleeves. Take a brief break to very excitedly open my first pair of American Duchess shoes. I took advantage of a recent sale and I bought the Vienna elastic sided boots in black and I'm very excited to have my first pair and I've um, they're very comfortable. Um, the website said to order up half a size if you have wide feet, which I do. However, I wear a size 10 regularly and there was no 10 and a half. So I went up to an 11. They're a little bit long, but not a crazy amount. So I think they will be absolutely perfect. I'm so excited. 
I'm also excited that they came with extra heel caps and a lollipop. <laughs> I decided to use a sleeve band pattern piece from a Laughing Moon pattern. This was a red letter day, trying to sew, and the cat, Hercules, knocked my keyboard off its stand. It almost fell on top of Loki, who was sleeping underneath the keyboard. And then, yeah, chaos. Always. Then gathered the top of the sleeves and, um, I just ran one line of gathering. I was being lazy and this fabric so thin, it gathered just fine with one, one line of gathering. Then I pinned the sleeve seams, seams, pinned the sleeve seams. And then of course I had to refill a bobbin and I, yeah, ran out of upper, and then I ran out of thread by filling the bobbin and had to use a totally different color. So they're like, four different color threads in this dress. I gathered the bottom of the sleeves and then fit those into the cuffs and pinned that. And then I sewed that down, cut off the excess, And then I will fold the cuff to the inside and then fold it down so there's no raw edges and then pin it around and then whip stitch the cuff on the inside of the sleeve. I watched some YouTubes. I watched Costuming Drama finish her Regency bonnet. I thought that was very appropriate. Um, of course, I kept singing Finishing the Hat from um, Sunday in the Park with George while I was watching her. And I've been singing it for days. And so I just watched the whole musical to get it out of my head. Finishing the hat. How you have to finish that. <laughs> oh man, it's a really good musical. After I sewed the sleeve, I cut off the excess seam allowance and then I just ran it through my machine with zigzag stitch. And the pattern suggested to use a uh, twill tape or a hem tape um, to hem the dress on the bottom, which I thought was a great idea. However, I only had one inch wide twill tape in black and I thought that that might show through since the fabric is fairly sheer. So I used half inch twill tape in kind of a natural color, um, which worked fine. Um, so I pinned that and then I sewed it as close to the edge as I could and pressed it and then just did a nice little whip stitch all the way around the hem. And then I had a finished hem, very exciting. And she is complete. And I think she looks very nice. I am a little worried that the sleeve cuff is too large. It, because it fits around my arm and I am much bigger than the person I'm making this for. So if we ever get to see each other, <laughs> I will have her try it on and then possibly do some adjustments to that. But all in all, I'm very happy. I think it looks nice. It's a pretty dress and I'm glad to be done with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to comment or give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't and join me again on my sewing adventures.
Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.